What's up guys, Son of Ape here today, here to show you how to use the hydrogen generator and the electrolytic separator. Now, basically, this is how you make a power system that once it gets going, keeps itself charged or running. So, to start, you need some water. Now, you can use any pump that you need but being that we have access to the aqueous accumulator from thermal expansion, I'm going to be using that. You pump it out with some fluid ducts here. And you pump it into the separator. Now, what this does essentially is break water down from being a liquid into oxygen and hydrogen. Now, the hydrogen's on the left, the oxygen's on the right. So in other words, hydrogen is blue, the oxygen is red. So once you get there, you can just pump out both of these and end up draining the oxygen and hydrogen. Now, you can also just dump them out if you don't have a use for them, but I'm going to show a use for the oxygen later, so we're going to put that over there. From there, you pump the hydrogen into the hydrogen generator. What this does is inputs hydrogen in from any of the three sides and just outputs power. Very simple. Now we're going to connect some universal cables up here and here we go. This is it. It's not a complex build um, I do believe the cost is a little high, but still a good starting system to get everything out of. Um, we can drop a energy cube into here to see how well it runs. But at the moment, you see it isn't producing any power. That's because this system <coughs> needs a little kickstart. The separator needs to get power to separate the water before it can give it hydrogen to the generator so it can have power. So just drop in a battery or hook it up to a battery power source and away we go. See, the water reduced a tad bit. We can show you. It's being used up by the separator. Being pumped in here to the hydrogen and from there is being then stored into power in the ultimate energy cube. Now what I placed down here was an oxygen storage module. Notice it doesn't create a large quantity of oxygen but it is handy to try to offset some of your oxygen costs if you are up on the moon per se and are trying to run sealers. If you're doing that, your system needs to get a little larger with some more separators and more generators to keep the power and oxygen high enough so that all of your sealers can still keep your base sealed. Now, with that said, here's the system. Any power source will kickstart, will jump the system and turn it on. So just remember, you need water pumped in, can be from a pump, in this case I use an aqueous accumulator, any fluid pipe works, um, any piping out of it works that can handle gas. I use the pressurized tube because it is from mechanism into the hydrogen generator, back to a universal cable, again any cable or wire will work but being that it's mechanism, try to stick with it to keep this running and pumping the oxygen into a storage unit so that I can fill up my oxygen tanks for maybe a trip to the moon. With that said, I'm son of a hippie. Here is a simple self uh, refilling power system using the electrolytic separator and the hydrogen generator. 
Um, if you thought this tutorial and info was helpful, like the video, um, subscribe for my channel for more tips, tricks, and other things Minecraft and other games.